examination of the nasopharynx or epipharynx or post-nasal space. It, this is located behind the nose and we can examine it uh, through the oral cavity with the use of a laryngeal mirror. A small laryngeal mirror uh, should be uh, used um, in order to inspect uh, this region. Uh, the mirror uh, should be um, attached to its handle in order to have a good grip during the examination and it should be uh, defogged uh, either with an electric lighter or with a Bunsen lighter or heater. The traditional Bunsen's heater should be uh, used in our clinic uh, to, def to defog the uh, mirror itself. We should control the heat of the mirror on our hand in order to prevent any burn injury for the patient. We also should use a tongue depressor, usually a metal one, and we should ask the patient to open his or her mouth, but not to uh, extrude uh, the tongue. And with the tongue depressor, we should depress uh, the tongue uh, slightly and we should introduce uh, the mirror from the side behind the soft palate in order to look uh, into the nasopharynx or postnasal space. On the picture, we can see the uh, septum, the fornix and the turbinates on both nasal fossae. Uh, you can see that this examination is not easy due to the gag reflex of the patient and due to the fact that the space uh, that we have to look into is very narrow. Usually the pharynx, posterior wall and the soft palate uh, gives an obstacle for the uh, examination. Uh, nowadays we use a transnasal examination with an endoscope which provides better view. Uh, here you can see the eustachian tube and the koana and the back wall of the uh, nasopharynx. I show you the examination again, pressing down the tongue, introducing the mirror from the sideways and looking up behind the soft palate, behind the uvula, up to the post-nasal uh, space. Thank you for your attention.